Just got some super exciting packages. Behind, there'll be the arches. And down here will be all the front end pieces, like the headlights around the grill and the fuel cap from upper or four by four. And yeah, I'm gonna open them now. So what did we get? We got some, got some noodles. pool noodles. Some newspaper. More pool noodles. And there it is in there. And we got more pool noodles in there too. So handy. Alrighty, I'm actually gonna open it up now. That is gonna be the most thoughtfully wrapped, thoughtfully <laughs> wrapped thing that I've ever unboxed. Just thought I'd kind of save you the boringness of watching me unbox all of it. There's the, uh, what, the surrounds, the series pieces of it all in the, or suggested that I got the, the satin finish, because that's supposed to be really good for uh, painting over because it's already primed and ready. Then there's my little fuel cap cover, which looks really good in the gloss black. And now we just got to open up the grill. So I'll set you guys up so you can actually see it. And we'll start opening. I got this in the R. Uh, Lost black as well. Ah. That is awesome. I can't get that. <laughs> That's gonna look so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I painted the back of the um, the inside part because that being gloss and then inside being gloss black now, it's gonna look so clean. It just feels so good. It just feels like high quality stuff. It feels like better than just about every piece on the Defender. <laughs> so next box we got is the arches and we will put the, we won't put them on. We will open it. Hmm. Interesting. They're already damaged. It's a bit of a bummer. Is that a coating they have on top of them? That is a coating they have on top of them. Let's see. Just on top there. I thought it would be a bit weird they're already damaged. Like I thought it was already chipped up and banged up there, but no. They were one step ahead of me there. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna get out the rest of them and <laughs> test fit it on and see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna like what it looks like. Just doing a little test fit and I think that's gonna look pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> oh, definitely need the big tires for it. Oh, it's just insane. I'm also thinking I might paint them to match the body color eventually. But we'll see what it looks like once it's all done up. Um, but yeah. Time to fit it all in. Even that just looks so good. Just having it painted black. And that, too. I'm so glad I did that. A bit of paint in here, though. Hmm.
I don't know how, but I actually found that tiring. <laughs> I just didn't want to go in very easily. Can give it a quick clean and then put on the nice new grill. Have you guys ever had the trouble with this part in there just not being tight? If you can see that, which you can't. Um, just there, that part, that, just, just, just. Zip tie. I gotta take it back off again. These have locking nuts. Quickly put on the grill and I'll be back. So I got a bit of an issue and I really just can't be bothered fixing it right now. But um, there's a little bit of a, a gap in there. Um, it, I just, I, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have to drill holes out here that are a bit wider. There and there. Actually, let's check. Gap on this side and that. I mean, it's even. Oh no, that's a bit smaller. So, I'm thinking if we take it off again, it's a bit of effort right now. Um, do some holes, a little bit more right on these three, and I guess that one. These did. These did not fit at all. I had to draw completely different holes. Um, but yeah, if we do that, we should be able to slide it along. Um, <laughs> And get rid of this bulge. It's just killing my OCD. It's so not that noticeable. Alrighty, next thing we gotta tackle is putting in our little uh, fuel cap cover. It's so nice. Let's look at it. Um, I gotta figure that out. We got the headlights around, headlights around, fuel cover. I love it how they put it all. And I think they even uh, did it so, they say it? Yeah, not too tight. Just so someone dumb like me doesn't break it. <laughs> um, I've got no idea. I can't see any instructions on it. You got new keys as well. I don't know why we have two sets of keys though. Um, Anyway, yeah, we'll try and figure it out uh, and see what happens. So just try and bear with me with this one. Um, I think what I'm supposed to do with installing it is put those two bits in there and then this part will just like slide in and under that lip there and you attach this little top part. Uh, so the little the lock can actually slide into there and lock it in place. Uh, so that is good. And then obviously connect the hinge to that. And this little hinge will just connect onto that bottom part on the inside. And we should be good. I think the only annoying part will be having to drill the holes into here. Um, and then that should be it. So I've held it in place now. I've got it kind of exactly where I want it to be. Um, kind of super flush with everything. You can kind of wiggle it around a little bit with the little, um, you can't see that, with little parts on the actual mounting brackets. So I'm gonna screw these parts in. If you can see that there kind of. Um, so it's just, like fitted how I want it. Uh, and then once I do that, I will uh, make a little holing 
I'll mark where I want the holes to be with the my pen, drill them in, and then I should just be able to put it in really easily and we'll be good. Drill the holes now. I'm gonna put some bigger ones in after that pilot hole. Um, and yeah. Get them ready for uh, a little bit of paint, just so none of this stuff uh, oxidizes. I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest, because I'm not gonna be seeing it. It's gonna be covered by this cool new cap anyway. Looks super sick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna paint that with some of the some of the uh, body paint I got for the headlights around. So I break everything. And uh, I'll probably just update you when I got it installed because I already explained how it's going in. And yeah, I thought I was done. Um, let's, uh, let's lock it. Oh, I can't lock it. I have got to rotate this, so it'll start this little thing over there. So then when I do it, it'll go that way and go up into that. Hmm. So I've been probably fiddling around with this for an hour and a half. Um, I just couldn't get it aligned properly. I was struggling so much with it. Um, I've kind of stuffed it a bit uh, but oh, look at that it actually works now um, but yeah as you can see I kind of scuffed it I'm probably just gonna get a permanent marker and fill in those little bits but it does keep on hitting still kind of but we'll just see how it goes So I just finished up making the rest of the video, editing everything, and then I realized I didn't really have an outro. So I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> uh, so with these mods, there's still quite a few more mods to come that I've already recorded, but have already been done. So I'm shooting this outro now, probably a week and a half in the future. So yeah, after this video, there'll be ones on the interior, more painting videos. Actually, I haven't done any painting videos. And I've recorded putting in the new wheels, the arches, uh, there's still heaps of stuff to be uploaded to YouTube that I've already been documenting, sort of documenting on the Instagram page, Frank the Defender. So yeah, there's still lots more to come. And if you want to follow more closely on everything that I'm doing, um, updating the Instagram page daily, uh, quite frequently, yes, might be annoying. Uh, anyway, wouldn't be annoying, you love Defenders. So if you want to follow it uh, on my YouTube channel, then please maybe consider sub consider subscribing uh, and give me a like or comment below letting me know what you want to see or what I could do differently. Uh, I appreciate everything, everything that I get comment wise and likes and it's just really cool. Anyway, hope you guys have a good day and thanks again for watching. See ya. Okay.